Fired up trucker here. Fired up trucker here. Hey everyone. Of course, I said come back today because I would have a more positive, uplifting, typical fired up trucker video. And I meant it. So, sorry about yesterday. Had to get off my chest. I actually deleted it off of Facebook. I saved the video on my Facebook page, but I didn't leave it up on the channel. I appreciate everybody's feedback and everything, man. I just had to get all that off my chest. It was just a little bit too much, and I did it. I saved it on YouTube, too, but I made it private, so, you know, if there's anyone that's looking, I want them to know the real deal. I might send them to link that video and say, look, this is where I was at day 11, so you have to know that you want to do this and that you want to get through with it, and you're going to get upset sometimes, and things aren't going to go your way, and it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be a piece of cake. You know, the universe isn't going to line up for you all the time. You're going to have to work through some stuff. So anyway, fired up today. Uh, day 12 of being here. Day eight and a half of school, something like that. Yay! Got to go out. There's a road in front of our terminal. Pretty long road. Probably quarter mile long, maybe, if not more. <clears throat> has a little circular drive at the end, uh, which kind of imitates a lot of, you know, places you might have to pull into or something. Got to go out with uh, three of the other guys, the guys that I've been hanging with, the guys that are in my second week deal here. Mo, Mo, Eric, and Rod. Thumbs up. Rod's from Oklahoma. Mo and Eric are from Lakeland, Florida. So those are my buds here. Looking forward to us all getting our CDLs, making it through, and seeing each other out on the road or at some terminals, you know, wherever. So, uh, great guys. Went and had some great Mexican food last night. Had some good times. You know, had a big freaking 42-ounce Miller Lite beer. And, you know, I don't drink that much, hardly ever. Just me and my wife might go out every once in a while and, you know, have that cold draft beer at Hooters, and that's it. And the only reason we go to Hooters is because they got good, what, crab legs. Ah, that's it. So, anyway, and wings. Love the wings. So, my wife loves the crab legs. I like the crab legs, but I don't like to work that hard for my food. Anyway, this is going to be a video. Kind of, I don't know. Depends on how long it runs. I'm going to try and keep it, you know, it's going to have to be seven or eight minutes about. So, but anyway, this is my Texas CDL Driver's Handbook, Commercial Motor Driver's Handbook that I studied out of. Now, I had actually print this completely thing off my printer. I've got it in a three-ring binder at home. I studied that. I highlighted that. I underlined that. I had an old one of these that had the old... It had a uh, cover just like the paper that's on the inside. This one's got the fancy cover. I was, I was surprised when she gave me this one. So this was my second one, but this is the one that I started using when I was really, really getting serious about studying and okay I need to I need to learn I need to go take my test so what I'm gonna share with you first <clears throat> my experience when I went to go get my permit at the uh, Garland DPS or wherever it was I went Jupiter so this is mostly gonna be for Texas people it might be but you're gonna be able to get something from it because it's gonna let you know you need to know what you need to know so you need to go to your DPS or your whatever it is where you're gonna go take your test and you need to say I need to get my a CDL permit and then I'll need to get my CDL license uh, you know the other rest of it what do I have to do what do I need to study what do you have to give me that I can use so uh, I was kinda studying a little bit of everything I was studying the things that I knew that I had heard of but I didn't do the correct deal and I didn't say okay which parts do I need for this so when I went down for my permit I knew I was going to have to test on two parts. I didn't know which parts. Ended up being combination vehicles. And in this book, in the Texas book, chapter 14, special requirements. Sorry about that. Special requirements. Chapter 14, special requirements for Texas commercial motor vehicles never studied this at all <laughs> so she said you gotta take combination and you gotta take this one I'm like well I'm gonna take it we'll see what happens 
past combination because I had studied combinations. How do I study? If I show you my book, you're going to see that I've got it underlined. I've got it highlighted. I've got it highlighted in different colors. I've got notes written on pages. Anything I can do to help me sync it up here. Every section in this book for my permit and when I went and passed the last three parts, which was general knowledge, which a lot of people fail the first time. Why? Because they just don't study. They might read through it, brace through it, and think, oh, I got it. No, you don't. Read it underline it, highlight it, do it three or four times. I mean, literally read and highlight, <clears throat> excuse me, highlight and read and like three or four times, write notes. The little questions that are in there at the end of each section, fill them out, write them out. Even, even if you can't read it, still find the answers and write them in there. Because guess what? A lot of those answers, a lot of those questions are going to be on your tests. When they say, these might be on your test, guess what? They're giving you a hint. Those might be on your test. So, anyway, I passed combination vehicles when I went for my permit, and I failed this one. I didn't even get to finish it because I I maxed out the amount that you could miss. I hadn't studied it. I mean, so whatever. I went home, studied it for two or three days, read it three or four times. You can see it's highlighted, it's underlined, everything. Uh, don't think that these parts aren't important because they are. The pictures, study the pictures. Underline and highlight the pictures. Write notes on there. I've got amber front, red rear. Uh, underline, 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 underline. I put green highlights through it, you know. Shows you what the colors and the names. And, and the other good reason to do this is, is because when you start doing your pre-trip, you want to know the proper terminology for these things when you're explaining to your examiner uh, what you're looking at when you're doing your pre-trip. You don't want to just make some stupid name up that ain't the right name. You want to have the right terminology, the right words that are in the book. That's where these are. That's why you watch the videos on YouTube. And that's why you read the book. Okay. So, see? See how I've got notes up there? I've got it highlighted. What do my notes say here? Positive past section 1820 positive eye tests Whatever, I don't, that's a no, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was something on my eye test thing. Uh, so see what I've got stapled here? And I've got notes, endorsements, doubles, triples, tankers, hazmat, buses. That's what I'm going to study next. As soon as I get back, I'm going to start studying these. And one by one, I'm going to start, I'm not going to go do them all at once. Because hazmat's, hazmat's pretty serious. It's a whole process. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get one, boom, got that endorsement. Go get the other one, boom, got that endorsement. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get all the stuff. So anyway, when you watch uh, Mr. Sinister De Trucker's videos like I have, he's the reason I'm even here at night, uh, listen to what he's saying. You have to study. Don't go down there and waste your time, waste those people's time, and waste your money and not study. Read the material, underline it, highlight it, do whatever you need to do. Go through. Your book should look like an old, worn out, like your grandma's Bible. I mean, it should, you know, this ain't, it ain't, it's too, not too tattered up. I mean, I got holes by the staples and bent pages and a little bit of dirt and food on it. But you can, if you look, uh, I mean, I got notes and everything. Study it. Study, 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 study. So if you're in Texas, your permit, chapter 14, and combination vehicles. When you go back on the other ones, you're going to do air brake, you're going to do general knowledge, and you're going to do uh, pre-trip. You've got to do a written thing on the computer for pre-trip. In Texas, and at least in Dallas, Texas, we don't do the walk-around pre-trip with the examiner. We do it on the computer. Anyway, Fired Up Trucker here. Find me on Facebook, Jim W. Hammonds. Come to the Facebook group, Fired Up Truckers. See you on the next video. Appreciate you watching. Sorry about yesterday. Going to keep it positive. But... I had to be up front. I had to be real and transparent with you guys. And that's how it's going to be. If anybody ever wants to see that video or I think it'll help them, I'll show it to them. But I'm not keeping it out there for people to see. Fired up.